All right, guys, in today's video, we're going to be talking about the tools and applications that you should be using on your Shopify store to maximize sales. So Shopify, of course, has a massive application store and think of it as a toolbox. So if you're a mechanic, if you work in construction, if you're a plumber, if you're an accountant, if you're a lawyer, you have a set of tools that you use in your business to make your business function and use it as use them as a foundation to make more money and grow your business. Well, a Shopify store is no different. You need to have tools of the trade. So in this video, we're going to go through um, kind of like the top three, but I've actually added in some extra applications as well that you can implement right now on your store to make more money. All right, and I've left links below to all these if you want to check them out. Now, we're not going to be talking about the usual Oberlo and stuff like that. You probably already know about that. We're going to talk about some other applications. So if you don't know about the application store, which you should, it is a massive store, kind of like iTunes, stuff like that, or the Apple App Store. There is just an abundance of applications, but what one should you use? What one should you choose and things like that? Now, before we jump in, I want to um, say one thing. Um, the cheapest isn't always the going to be the best for you and the most expensive isn't always going to be the best for you. What I recommend is you go off um, reviews, okay? Use reviews to kind of find the best app that works for you. Um, the, mo the, the more reviews, the better, technically. Um, so don't, if you're one of those types of people that goes to the most expensive one because you think it's the best, it's not always the case. And don't just always go for the cheapest ones and try and save money because they're probably going to be the most buggy. Okay, so let's jump into this um, and I'll show you some cool apps that you can use on your store. Now, the first one is really simple. Anyone sh can implement one of these on your store and you should be doing it straight away. And that's scarcity. Have a timer on your store. Now, smart scarcity countdown timer. Uh, is really cheap. It's nine bucks per month and they have a seven day trial. You can make that nine bucks back basically in the first sale you get um, via using this app to push that sale. Uh, it's really clean and what it does is it simply just adds a timer onto your page that you can edit and customize and stuff like that. A nice, simple, clean timer. That's all you need. It doesn't need to be complicated and it doesn't need to be like weird colors and all that sort of stuff. So this is the, um, what is it called again? Sorry, Smart Apps Timer. Okay, this is the one that I've been using on my store. I used to use Horrify, but I think that's gone now. Um, but this one's cool and they have two settings. You can have Evergreen where it goes forever or you can do like a sale standard timer ending soon. So this is one um, type of application that you should have on your store. It is highly recommended that you have some sort of scarcity on your store. And this is the one that I'm using right now. The one, the thing I like about this is it's clean, simple, and easy. Um, that that's the best thing about this app. So, timers, okay. Number one, guys. Number one, nice and simple, nice and easy. The second one, which is I would highly recommend, you have something like this on your site. Um, if you want to collect emails. Now, if you don't want to collect emails, then don't worry about this but you should be collecting emails on your Shopify store to promote products to them later, okay? This is $14 per month. Um, now, let me just get my drawing thing up here. This is $14 per month. Um, let me just get rid of this. 14 bucks per month. Sorry guys, I just wanted to get my pen up here so you can easily track my mouse. So this is $14 per month with a seven day trial as well. Now what this does guys, is it creates a kind of like wheel of like, it's got this wheel and people go to your website and put their email in and it spins the wheel and you can give them discounts and you can really just do whatever you like but usually it's giving them discounts now what this does is it entices people to put their email in and emails are going to be one of the most important assets in your shopify business in the long run let's say a year later you collect 10,000 emails which is highly possible in most shopify stores i think one of mine has over 80,000. Um, you can send out an email and basically make thousands of dollars. At minimum, your email list should be worth at least $1 per email. So if you have 10,000 people on that email list, you should be able to make $10,000 by doing a promotion. If you have 1,000 people on that email list, you should be able to make $1,000 per promotion. So an email list is highly important and you can use something called Wheelio, which I think is the best app for this, Wheelio. 
um, to integrate into your store so you can collect emails. Okay, this is qu quite important to do because most businesses in the long run end up running off their email list. And a lot of the times, like I have stores now where I don't even need to run Facebook ads, I can just do it via the email list because it's so big and so responsive. So Wheelio is one that you really, really should have on your store. It's easy to set up. You can set up these coupons nice and easy. You have all these settings here. It's um, GDP, uh, GDPR compliant with the new EU regulations as well. A lot of applications are not yet, which is quite bad. Um, and yeah, so this is one that you need. If I don't know whether you're collecting emails or not, but you should be on your Shopify store. Okay, now this brings me to uh, one of my favorite apps that I was actually a beta tester for, and it goes, we, we're kind of flowing into more email stuff. So this is called contactflow.io, and I'll leave a link for a free trial below because you can't actually get this on the App Store, it's a third party app. Now this is the basically the top gun of email marketing with Shopify. So this can do abandoned emails, this can do purchase tracking, this can do broadcasting. It's like the just the ultimate email marketing software platform application for Shopify, okay? This is my one of this is probably the top app that I use right now. Um, and in the, my beta tester account, what you do is you actually create these things called flows. And these flows, you can, um, this looks a little bit messy, but you can track kind of um, everything. And when when you go to integrations, uh, let me just go back here real quick. When you go to integrations on here, it's cool because you can integrate with Shopify with a click of a button and it will put tracking codes on everything. So you can track if someone goes to a, a specific product and leaves, then you can um, do a specific email flow to those people, okay? And and just send them email, uh, emails like, hey, you forgot this in your cart, we've got a discount for you and stuff like that. And you can also do it for people who have purchased, you can send them different products. But what's cool about this, guys, is you can go to view stats and it will show you how many emails delivered, how many emails opened, how many clicked, and you can also do financial. It's gonna tell you how much money you've made from your email marketing sequence, which is really important when you wanna dial down your stats. So for the beta test one, um, I made $1,380 in revenue, I made $10 per open, and then um, I made $34 per click and I made $10 per email. And all you do is you just set up the flow like this. They have the instructions. They actually have a full training course that you get for free when you get into this um, application. So I'm not gonna go through and show you how to set all that up. Maybe I'll do that in a different video, but this is application number three and we do have some more. Uh, automate your email marketing and you sign up to the free trial and it, they have a full training system on how to use this particular platform. But the most important thing to worry about right here is this can do abandoned cart emails, this can do general email marketing, autoresponders, broadcasting, and this can go out and calculate everything when it comes to the money, so um, revenue and most importantly, lifetime value. This is a must have if you wanna get into email marketing seriously, with Shopify and you can easily integrate it or like I showed you before with one click of, click of a button it will integrate with your Shopify store. Now the next one that's really cool so these are kind of bonus ones guys I know it says top three but we'll just, I've got a few more to go through as well you know the, re, the two first ones were quite simple because you can easily implement them into your store right now like you don't need any special technical skills or anything like that. Uh, once you start getting into kind of this more like chat bots and stuff, you do need to learn a little bit more, but um, it's not that hard to figure out. So Facebook chat, bot, chat bots, okay, are really important to businesses today because you can keep in contact with customers. Customers are always gonna wanna ask you questions and you can use that to um, persuade them into purchasing products from your store. Okay, so this is called um, the Facebook chat by Beekeating, Facebook chat live, blah, blah, blah. Um, or you can use things like ManyChat and stuff like that. ManyChat's quite cool. But this one here is it says it's free, I suppose. I, this, I haven't actually used this one. I use ManyChat straight on mine. 
um, but this probably integrates with ManyChat, I would imagine. Um, and you can just set this up on your store and it'll leave a little button. So there's kind of two things you can do. You can have a little button at the bottom of the um, store that'll pop up and you can have a welcome message or people can ask questions. Or you can put little buttons under the buy now button on the product page or anything like that. But um, this app is something that you will want. You might not want to have this straight away on your um, Shopify store. Maybe wait till you have some customers coming in. You've got some sales coming in. Then you want to integrate this into your Shopify store. Okay. Whether it be this app or another app, Facebook chatbots are a must from 2018 onwards. It is a must to have chatbots. They are getting really popular and they have massive open rates. So once again, you collect the data and you can send them promotions as well in the future from your Shopify store. Okay. Now the next one is kind of two in one, I would I would say. Upsells and cross sells. These are like instant profit maximizers, instant set, like just instant. Um, these increase your average order value literally overnight. And what you can do, this one's a little bit expensive. I suppose it's 30 bucks per month. I don't know. It really depends on your value of money. Um, to me, that's not expensive because you can make that money back within a couple of sales. That is not expensive when you're running an online business. But some people will think that is. So you maybe want to go find a cheaper alternative. But once again, cheap is not always the best. But they do have a 15 day free trial. So what this does, guys, is you can create what we call upsells, cross sells, and recommendations. So when you add something to a cart, what this one's going to do, or when your customer adds something to a cart, it's going to recommend some um, frequently purchased items, which you can customize in the back and you can alter it all so it comes up as the way you've set it up. And the chances of, it's, um, you know Amazon, right? The reason Amazon is so popular, or one of the reasons, um, is because they have an amazing recommended recommended product or recommend product structure. So if you go into Amazon right now and you go and put a product in your cart or you go to purchase a product, there is going to be an amazing recommended product structure in place. And that is one of the key reasons why they are so successful and make so much money. So it's, it is definitely important to have one of these implemented into your store. Um, let's go down a bit, have a look at some more. And you can have little pop-up windows like this. You can um, have this one. There's heaps of different variations you can do, heaps of designs, and all the information is here. So upsell and cross-sell offers to encourage customers to add higher valued items or purchase bundles to increase sales uh, from your customers. So what that kind of means is, let's say a customer comes to your store and adds a product for five bucks. If you recommend another product that's $20 or $15, the high, it's highly likely, likely that they're going to add that to their cart because they've already made that micro step to add the cheaper item. Now they're kind of like, yeah, I'm probably going to get this even though it's a little bit more expensive. They're going to go the next step and go the full way and purchase, most likely purchase a recommended product from you. So it instantly increases your average order value literally just like that. And to kind of... Um, I, I'm not, I can't remember the word I'm looking for, um, but to kind of like add this one in as well is the checkout boost social sharing countdown timer upsell. So this is from the same company. Um, you can add things like, um, my internet's a little bit slow, I don't know why I got a new modem today, maybe I haven't set it up right. You can add things like countdown timers, um, all sorts of cool stuff as well, but it's, an, it's another 20 bucks a month. So if you had this in the other app, it, that's 50 bucks a month, it is starting to get up there. So I would rec only recommend putting these types of applications on your store once you actually have a good, steady, consistent amount of sales coming in um, to your store. Okay, that's quite important. You don't just wanna go throwing money away, uh, money into apps if you're not making money in return. And once again, um, you can do this $18 more and get free shipping. So if you combine, that's the word I'm looking for. If you combine the checkout boost and the um, boost sales, upsell and cross sell into your store that's already making sales, you are going to instantly increase your average order value just like that and make more money from your Shopify store. Okay. Now the last one here is called the Amtel Web Push Notifications. Most of you probably know what web push notifications are. They're these little things that pop down on stores and you know this website once would like to send you push notifications. Now, push notifications are kind of becoming old, I suppose. I don't use them much anymore. 
Um, and I've noticed a lot of other sites don't use them as much as they um, as they used to, but they still do work really, really well um, for pushing. Like, let's say someone comes to your store and you want to give them a 10% discount straight away. Well, you can use a push notification to do that. So it is really cool for stuff like that, but I don't see a lot of stores using them nowadays. So it's really up to you. Test it, see if it works. I would recommend not using a push notification and actually using something like Wheelio instead because it's much more interactive. It's a lot more fun and you're probably going to collect a lot more emails doing it this way. You don't even collect emails or push notifications and you're going to be able to make more money with something like Wheelio, guys. So my top three apps would be make sure you have something like Smart7 Scarcity Countdown Timer. Really, really important, okay? Number two, so that was number one. Number two is something like Wheelio or some sort of intent pop-up to collect emails to build out your email marketing assets or your email list assets, okay? Number three is to have some sort of abandoned checkout, abandoned cart email program, and I, but I highly recommend Contact Flow, and there is a free link below, a free trial link below, because these guys are all in one system. You can do the abandoned checkout. You can build up the email list. You can send out broadcasting. You can do literally everything, and you can integrate it with Shopify with one click. Most of the um, alternative versions to this on Shopify app will only do one thing. So they'll do abandoned carts, and that's it. This, on the other hand, will do everything for you. Okay, so that's contact flow. Those are the top three. Then you want to look into Facebook chat bots. Really important to your business. You want to look into upsells and cross sells and maybe combine that with the checkout boost. But this is kind of like you probably don't really need this. I just added in there because it's the same company. But definitely upsells and cross sells. Then if you want to test out push notifications, but if it came to either using push notifications and Wheelio, definitely get onto Wheelio instead. You can probably use both, but it will get too confusing. Okay, so I would recommend Wheelio instead of Amtel or something like Amtel. All right, guys, that's it for this video. Those are my top three applications plus a few extras to help you out. Make sure you check my other videos out for more Shopify content and check out the links below on this video. I've got all of these applications listed plus a link to my free Shopify group where you can ask me questions and uh, it's a free mastermind for free. Don't need to pay any money. Uh, come and join us today and I'll see you in the next video.